Other top story tonight, a plan to help a common concern for parents and students when it comes to college. How to pay for it. Governor Polis announced in a roadmap to make college more affordable. Right now, 57% of high school seniors go to some kind of education after high school. The hope is by the year 2025, 66% of all seniors will further the education. Tori Mason live tonight. And Tori, you got a little bit more about this, what, what this roadmap entails. Exactly. And you know, this roadmap is just a plan for how the state will work with institutes of higher education to prevent the cost of college from increasing. But in order for this roadmap to work, students still have to be driving that car. Today, about 75% of all jobs require some credential beyond high school. That could be a two year degree or even a certificate, but not a bachelor's you couldn't complete. The worst thing you can do for yourself or your family is attend college. But graduate. Those students are often left with debt and no degree because for some careers it takes money to make money. I'm probably about 40,000 in student loans right now. Melissa Pino isn't wasting any time getting through Metro State. The faster she's done, the sooner she can pay off those loans. I want to finish, get done, get out there and use what I'm my degree that I'm earning. Many high schoolers in Colorado use dual enrollment to save time and money down the road. 18, 17, you know, didn't know any better. It's something students like Corwin wish they'd have done. A high school diploma with an associate's degree. And if I went to a school like that, that would save me like $20,000 alone, twenty dollars to $50,000 in debt. The state plans to expand concurrent enrollment along with AP and IB programs to help students reduce the time it takes to earn credits. They also plan to strengthen transfer agreements and promote alternative degrees so students can get out of debt and into the workforce. Yeah, like just trade schools and uh, other options. Just didn't really know what was all out there before I signed up. You know? Now, the state is also looking to reduce health care costs for students and erase equity gaps so higher education is in reach for all Coloradans. We're live in Denver, Tori Mason covering Colorado First.